you know, I got one more crazy thing to chat with you about because you do so much. You know what? One of my most impressive things that you've done was the uh, what is it called the the horse. I would, I would, horse, I, would, yeah, I, would, I, would I wouldn't forget the horse at all. I mean, it also was just amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Fantastic. there's all sorts of funny stories about this horse. I I always took up <laughs> tell a story. I think I've just made it. I just improvised to a way that if I tell it to you the story, you you won't believe it about the queen and you guys with the horse. Yeah, it's a true story. I it was fun. I improvised a way that when I tell it to you, you would think, wait a minute, was that a movie? <laughs> <laughs> so how do you tell the story? <laughs> no, I always go like, really, my my mate, they went to the, what is it called again? What's this place called again? Gunthorpe, I think it was. It was Sunny Scunny. Yeah, it's a place where the, you know, and the queen was there. And then they, they are two horses. And then um, Roger worked with uh, his partner, pa Paco. Right. So Paka, they both had Paka, two, Simon, yeah. yeah, they both had two horses, like really same full size horses, like a horse horse, but they all metal and so on. They do all sorts of things like that. <laughs> so they show a, a park out first, I think, and they look at the, the queen looked at the horse. And, mm, 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 then they came to you. And yeah, I it was the other way around. Oh, it was the other way. Queen came to me first, and what had happened was because in the show we shoot each other with fireworks, and the the security went ah you're going to do that and said whatever you do because we had to sit in the on the two horses like this yeah and turn up with the cameras and make sure that the um the the queen was going to walk in between us and they realized that we were armed and dangerous to do a show afterwards and they said don't move don't do anything just stay there whatever you do do not point anything at anybody you recognize or who is wearing a suit so you can sort of see in your eyes, we're wearing pots and pans, suits of armor made out of kitchens, yeah. kitchen stuff in pajamas, yeah. and sitting on these horses made out of found stuff like old theater lights and bits of aircrafts and old wheelchairs and stuff. And then what happened was the queen comes along. She's late. She's really late. She's rubbish as an opening act. And she comes through and she's walking. And then her husband's behind him and he's coming out making some really inappropriate dialogue. And they come through and the queen's standing there and the queen's there and she's looking at me and I'm in the pajamas wearing this hat, big moustache. And I thought I just have to do something. And so what happens is I like just move my arm slightly and I switch a switch and the switch is empty. So if you imagine a horse and the where the horse's dick would be, we've got a fire extinguisher. And I push the lever and then the fire extinguisher just goes. <laughs> and this horse is just pissing on the floor like. Yeah. And this little old lady's there standing, looking at me going. <laughs> oh, like this. And it, you just watch your eyes go like this. And she goes like this. And then she can hear the noise. of, And she's looking for where the noise is coming from. And then her eyes go. As you can see, the end of a fire uh, fire, uh, fire extinguisher where a horse's dick would be. And her eyes go from thing. I'm thinking, you know what horses are like. And she looks down and she sees the water coming out. And, she's, <laughs> and then she realizes she's standing in this puddle of robot horse piss. <laughs> <laughs> she, she had this massive smile on her face and she stepped back and she's just like laughing. And then the I realized. Where were the snipers? They would, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's water, it's water, it's water. And then one, once we knew that she was okay, we like, I knew I could light the fire and there was a whole fire flamethrower system built into the horse. And so I lit the fire system and by then we won her over and it felt safe. And we're doing, <laughs> horse, you know, fire coming out of the horse's noses, the flamethrower. Yeah, and I finished. I finished doing that, and this is when it got wary. Because then I went to pack her. Uh, well, she said she's finished with all looking at me, and she went over and looked at the other horse, which was Packer, and says, "So does your horse do this? Can you do that?" <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the wrong person. <laughs> well, people, and, Packer, come on, Queen, don't do that. <laughs> he, he goes, "Yes," and then she says, "Go on then," <laughs> and. Um, what she didn't know is we'd had a whole disaster. We'd had a host of horse stone and we'd rebuilt it. And it wasn't a it wasn't a fully, fully tested system, nearly. And she said, go on then. He lit it. 
And all that happened was this massive fireball went in between him, the queen, and me. And then the fireball, <laughs> the fireball vanished and she'd done reflex steps backwards and was just standing there going, and said, she looked at back you know, and said, I shouldn't have asked you to do that, should I? At which, at which point everybody else laughed, all the suits and everyone else went, and we went, you shouldn't have done that, Queen. And then, did, and then, then we did the show. It was funny. <laughs>